When you see firefighters rappelling down the side of a hospital, uh, it might be cause for alarm, but it wasn't today, as the Victoria Fire Department Aerial Rescue Unit gave a hand to the Victoria Hospitals Foundation as it launched its biggest fundraising campaign ever. The new patient care tower, the new center at the Royal Jubilee Hospital, opens in two months, but the state-of-the-art facility needs modern equipment to provide the best care possible, and that's where you can help. This is how to make an entrance with Scottish drummers and South Island native dancers. The Greater Victoria Hospitals Foundation launches its most ambitious fundraising campaign ever. Our goal with the Building Together campaign is to raise the sum of $25 million. Victoria firefighters using high angle rope rescue unfurl the banner for the Building Care Together campaign. And while raising $25 million may seem like a daunting task, the co-chairs, retired judge Ted Hughes and realtor Leslie Farrell, are off to a solid start. This Building to Care Together campaign has already received pledges totaling $10.2 million. The announcement was made at the Patient Care Centre at the Royal Jubilee Hospital and emceed by our news director, Hudson Mack. You may hope that you never have to go to the hospital, but if you ever do, uh, hope that you come here because it's, it's fantastic. The 500-bed facility opens in mid-March. 80% of the beds are single occupant rooms. That will reduce our infection rate. It will provide some dignity for patients provide adequate space for families to visit. Some of the money from the capital campaign has already been spent on devices like this, the smart bed, but there will be more state-of-the-art equipment that's needed for this facility. While some of the 25 million will come from community leaders and businesses, the co-chair says everyone on the island may need the patient care center at some time in their life. Throughout this campaign, it will be critical that our community join together so that building care together ensures that the continued excellence, innovation, and quality care that has become our hospital's tradition will remain our future. For Hughes, an officer of the Order of Canada, former BC Conflict Commissioner and Chief Federal Treaty Negotiator, the well-thought-out hospital deserves equipment to further reflect its excellence. I think what impresses me most about that is the humanity that has gone into the placement of what's within the room to make the patient really feel that it's as close to home as it can be. Grade 8 student and award-winning vocalist Elizabeth Duncan sang Sarah McLaughlin's Ordinary Miracle, a tribute to the doctors and nurses who will staff the center. You can make a donation and get more information at buildingcare.ca. In Victoria, Mary Beth Burton, A News.